Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. This is your first time here, and if it's not, welcome on back. In today's video, we are going to talk about burnout. So you know, when you're just so tired, you're working so hard, whether it be in school, um, work, or just life, family life, or whatever. Um, sometimes you just do so much at one time, and you're mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, emotionally exhausted. You know, what do you do? How can you recover? Things like that. So today I'm just going to give you guys, I think I have four, four or five tips um, to recover from burnout. So let's get right into it. First point is to simply just take some time to just relax, you know, watch Netflix, Hulu, read a good book. Um, last time I read a book was like four months ago. <laughs> So it's good to kind of just like, you know, relax and put down whatever it is that's causing you to be stressed out or burnt out, whether it be like schoolwork, um, if, or if you're actually working, maybe you can take like a look, like a sick day or whatever. Just have a day or a weekend to yourself, um, put your phone down or whatever. Just enjoy life or enjoy your time. Um, so like for me, I just finished the semester of grad school, yay. Finally, it was so stressful. Um, so I've just been binge watching Netflix. I'm watching Girlfriends. <laughs> I've been watching that nonstop. I lay in the bed all day long and I watch TV and that's all I do. So I'm just allowing myself to just, you know, kind of relax, rejuvenate, get back to the center pretty much. Um, I guess going into that next point would be just to give yourself time to be lazy and to bum around. like. Think about it, you work so hard for whatever time frame, whether it be a semester or if it's been since this whole year, you've been working so hard. So why not give yourself time to just, you know, relax and just be lazy, you know. Um, there's a lot of posts going around on social media talking about, you know, 2020 is almost over. What have you accomplished this year? First of all, <laughs> this year has been a mess. You know, this is just the conditions, the the pandemic, the pandemic <laughs> has been complete nonsense. It's okay if you didn't meet your productivity goals, if you didn't accomplish something major this year. Like, the fact that we even made it to December, um, almost at New Year's, and you finished the year and you're still alive, first of all, is enough to just be thankful and grateful in and of itself. You know what I mean? Like, don't think that every single day of the week or every month you have to have some major accomplishments. Some months you're going to get knocked down, some days it's going to be tired, it's going to be hard, you're going to feel like you don't want to get out of bed. Um, and that's okay sometimes, you know, allow yourself to feel those emotions. But at the end of the day, what matters is that you get back up after that. You know, you're going to, you're going to be down for a while, but you don't want to stay down. You want to get up, dust your stuff off, and just keep on pushing. So again, give yourself time to be lazy. Um, next is applauding yourself for how far you've come. Um, so this could be relating to um, advancing your career or your education. Um, any small step that you've taken this year or in life or whatever, like that's big and that's major. You know, whether you've started at classes, finishing your classes for the semester, that's humongous. That's an accomplishment. You know what I mean? Um, so although you may or may not have re reached um, certain goals you've set for yourself just because of like, you know, the year kind of pushed people back or whatever have you, like whatever you've accomplished is still enough to celebrate. Like I, like I said earlier, like you just can't, you can't wait for just the big stuff to then be proud of yourself. You know, every small step is a blessing. Every small goal is an accomplishment um, if and when you reach it. And it should be celebrated. Because um, what I find is that when you you like um, brush off the small stuff and only worry about the big stuff, then it's like you're never getting anywhere until you actually get to that big goal. And what if that big goal doesn't happen for the next two to five years? Does that mean that every step before that you won't be happy about? You won't celebrate it? You know what I mean? Like you have to just really push yourself and pat yourself on the back and say, you know what, you did this, you made it through, you finished four or five months of a rigorous program or four or five months at a new job um, and you, you're still here, you're still going, you're still surviving. So that's 
should be celebrated in and of itself. So enough said about that. Um, and then my last one is to not be so hard on yourself. I can say for a fact, I am my biggest critic. Um, <laughs> it has to do like I criticize, I criticize myself so hard. Um, and I'm so hard on myself and sometimes I cause extra stress when it's not needed. You know, like there was no need for me to be crying or stressed out or overwhelmed. If I, if I wasn't so hard on myself, I wouldn't have felt that way. You know, it's like with studying, you, you want to get all A's, for example, um, if you strive for that. You want to get all A's, so you really push hard, you study hard all week long or what, however long for the test, and you still feel like you're not good enough right then you get your grades back oh you got an a oh well, i could have been not so stressed out you know so like people are gonna see your efforts they're gonna see what you're accomplished they're gonna see your work um they see that easily the problem is when we don't see it in ourselves right then we start talking down on ourselves we start feeling bad we start sometimes not even trying as hard as we could because we feel like you know what's the point i'm not gonna make it anyway i'm not gonna get there anyway so it's all about like really just talking to yourself and encouraging yourself, supporting yourself, pushing yourself. Because at the end of the day, all you have is you. You can't rely on others to um, give you that praise or that feedback or that encouragement and only that. Because what if your friends or whomever is having a rough day as well and they can't support you in that way today? You know, what if they can't give you that love and that those words you need to hear? You got to say it for yourself. <laughs> you got to tell yourself you're smart. You can do it. You got it. Keep going. You're doing it right now. You know, don't wait on other people to give that affirmation to you. So hopefully my quick little tips on um, just kind of recovering from burnout and like just giving yourself time to heal and rejuvenate and recuperate um, can help you in this season of like change and transitioning from 2020. Oh my gosh. To the new year. So as always, comment down below if you've ever experienced burnout before. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with a friend. And thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for my next video.